I want to go inside the C-suite now and take a deeper look at Clorox. The company was out yesterday with earnings that blew past expectations as it continues to thrive during the coronavirus pandemic as we run out to buy those cleaning supplies. But it also announced that it is changing its CEO and that Dorer, Ben O'Dorer, is going to be stepping down to be replaced by Clorox's president, Linda Rendell. Uh, this now brings the number of uh, S&P 500, Fortune 500 companies uh, with a woman at the top to 38. Uh, Brian Sazi had a chance to catch up with Dorer uh, via the phone, I believe, right, Brian, yesterday, unless it was a video. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. What did he have to tell you? <laughs> No, no Zoom call, uh, Alexis. Yeah, it was just a late night call. You know, Benno is someone that I've gotten to know uh, ever since he took over almost six years ago. I've really uh, gotten to understand how he thinks about leadership and, and growing the company. No red flags there with this leadership. He tells me uh, he has carefully groomed Rendell uh, over the past few years to ultimately take over this position. And if you look at some of the notes that have come out on Wall Street this morning, most uh, if not all, think this will be a very seamless uh, transition, which is reflective of how seriously Clorox takes uh, CEO succession. Uh, Dora told me when he started as CEO in November 2014, uh, that first board meeting in November, they actually started talking about a successor, which is always weird to hear that. You just took over a CEO. Now you're talking about a successor. But nonetheless, uh, no big red flags there with leadership. We did talk about the pandemic uh, and, and the stock did get hit, Alexis, yesterday uh, on what some saw as a conservative outlook. This is what Benno and his team have historically done, though, put out conservative outlooks ultimately beating that. Uh, and I think the main takeaways here is that there's going to be a lot of cleaning product demand for the foreseeable future. And it's hard to think uh, that that type of outlook won't prove conservative. We continue to stockpile our cupboards with cleaning products and rightfully so.